It's one of my favorite restaurants. Oh, it's gorgeous. Mom, isn't this the place that gave uh, Lori food poisoning? I don't think so. So, Kelly, you ever dreamed this would happen? Not in my wildest Freddy Krueger nightmares. Well, Kelly, I, I hope we're not dragging you away from your friends tonight, but Jackie and I thought that having dinner together would be fun. Why? So that I could get to know David and so that you could get to know Mel. Let me tell you something about Kelly Mel. To know her is not to love her. Kelly? Well, that's not what I hear, or rather see on video. Dad, you're embarrassing. Oh, I hardly think that that's possible. David, your father tells me that you're West Beverly's video historian. Yeah, something like that. I can hardly turn around anymore without that obnoxious video lens being stuck right in my face. It's nothing personal. Oh, it's just a little perverted. What do you call those guys, uh, voyeurs or something? Kelly. David, I forbid you to commit one more inch of videotape to that gorgeous face. Thank you. I thought I was going to have to get one of those restraining orders to keep him away from me. Let's order. Actually, I've lost my appetite. You'll be missing out, Kelly, really. This restaurant has one of the best chefs in town. Well, I knew there must have been some reason why you dragged us here. Kelly, that's enough. How about a drink to start? A drink? You want my mother to order a drink? I'll have a mineral water. Whatever. Because the last thing you do is ask a recovering alcoholic what she wants to drink. Kelly! Why don't you just shut up? I think we need a little trip to the ladies' room. Forget it, I'm out of here. Kelly, you wait a minute. Don't you leave this restaurant, do you hear me? What is going on? Let go of me. I will not. I demand an explanation. I have never seen a ruder display of bad manners in my entire life. Now, what were you hoping to accomplish by that act? Aside from humiliating and embarrassing yourself, which you did extremely well, I might add. He's so great. Why don't you just go ahead and marry him? Oh, Kelly, don't be ridiculous. We just met. He's a very sweet man, but I'm not going to marry him. We're just dating. Now, what is the big deal? You know what? Ever since you and Dad got divorced, almost my entire life, you have either been married or drunk. I just thought that when you finally got out of Timber Hills, you would want to spend some time getting to know me. What do you think I'm doing? Why do you think you're here? This is not about me. This is about you and some guy. Kelly, please, cut me a little slack. Don't I have a right to be happy? Don't I have a right to have you all to myself? It's for a little while. We're going to spend lots of time together. I promise. No matter who I'm seeing. I just don't want to share you. Not yet. Not with David Silver. Oh, Kelly. Shh. Oh, I know. I understand. Do you think we can go back now? Big fool of myself in there. Uh, who cares? <laughs>